So I wear gloves because it can be quite sore after handling this much uh, chili powder. Uh, but my mom, she goes bare hand and she will suffer for about a week saying it's really sore. So don't do that. Um, so I've done two and I forgot I was meant to kind of film it because it's easier than me explaining this process. So you grab the head of the cabbage, lay it in the sauce, in the paste, and try and just cover all the leaves with the paste first, like, you know, a good coating, you know, all the way around. And as you, before you lay down the next leaf, put a little bit of filling so you have something in between every layer. So you smear, uh, you smear, um, leave a bit, another layer. I guess you don't have to do the back of it because it will have contact on from the layer before. So do the top layer, make sure it's covered, leave a bit of filling. Like for me, usually, I don't know, I've, I gauge right most of the times, but um, I don't gauge right sometimes with the fillers, uh, filling or the paste. So I would go a bit conservative at the beginning. And then sometimes my last two, like quarter of the cabbages will end up with loads of filling or just, if there's excess, you can just top it up um, the container before you, before you shut it. Or you can, I think they will keep for a little while, so you can make another batch if you keep it in the fridge. But mind you, they will start to ferment over time. So, um, so you do that every layer, the top, um, make sure every bit is covered. And you lift where the head is, and you kind of gently scoop out that the filling that's too much and then I normally fold this in half and I put it in a container I kind of alternate where the head is so you actually can fit more in one container I'll just do one more so it's uh, so it you can see how much uh, water is kind of um, made by leaving it a little bit uh, after adding the paste and all the fillers, the uh, sweet strip spring onions and uh, sliced mouli. Good coating. There you go. In Korea, if the cabbage is really big, they fold it in half, use one of these last leaves. And then uh, they kind of tie it like this, but I think these cabbages are too small, so I wouldn't bother. But it actually looks very pretty when it's uh, packed and when you kind of serve it on the table. Sometimes people serve this entire thing and then cut it on the table or they just cut uh, like in three just before serving. It looks actually very appetizing on the plate. So basically this is how you make kimchi. So that, you just put it in the container and let it ferment however you fancy. But in the summer, I would leave about two days out. All right, good luck.